Hello and once again thank you for watching our Taj Tires YouTube channel. Um, this is an Audi A5, I'm just doing a re DPF regeneration. Regeneration is for diesel particulate filter. Now currently the glow plug light is flashing because it's regenerating, the temperature needs to be right, enough fuel, park position and the handbrake on. Now the soot initially, this I'm using a Delphi system here, I can also use um, Snap-on and many other um, software to, to, to actually perform this. Now looking at this uh, currently we've got only 2.18 grams left initially when I started this DPF regeneration that was about 40 minutes ago um, it was pretty much sitting at 40 grams now that was way too much um, the soot or the the content was so much that I had to perform this a couple of times um, to be able to regenerate this um, it is a 2007 slash 8 um, Audi A5 2.7 um, turbo diesel um, so before I did this I, I performed a service on it anyway um, as the customer requested that so if you look at the um, the grams it's rapidly coming down we got the temperature are on the actual emission filter which is 661 degrees and uh, now that's quite a lot and um, for it to perform that we need to make sure the glow plug light is flashing and you follow the procedure on the actual Delphi system. It'll ask you to make sure the temperature is good, fuel, park position, um, handbrake on, and also uh, to, to start the regeneration, it'll ask you to, to press the brake and then accelerate, and then that would continue to keep the 1500 RPM. Um, and that's the way you will perform that. Now, here it, we've also got the procedure on the back of this. So if we were to move that out of the way and scroll it, and that would actually just tell us exactly what we need to do. So you can see if I just move that out of the way just a little bit. Um, and you can see it clearly tells you engine idle and all the rest of the procedure here. And then to follow it, uh, you need to do this. Uh, let's just move this slightly out of the way. I don't really want to mess up the regeneration because it's great it's going really smoothly so that's the procedure it will ask us to do and perform um, now it has quite a bit if it's a manual one then that's what you do but if it's an automatic uh, which is this model it is um, it automatically just tells you what to do in this actual window now we've only got a little bit of left um, on the actual gram so we've got 80 odd grams 0.80 grams left and as soon as that's done I'm expecting this to perform quite all right because um, I think the regeneration has worked. Um, that glow plug light would go off. The DPF light in the engine light will already gone off. Um, so I'm just expecting this to actually work. Just bear in mind that uh, you've got the the hood is closed um, and 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 make sure you've got enough fuel um, in the car because it will continue for 1500 RPM for pr pretty much about 40 odd minutes. Um, now if you look again here, it tells you, just, just if I scroll this down, um, so like I said, on, on, on an automatic it will tell you exactly what to do anyway, let, it, let the accelerator pedal up, so it, it's almost like a little tap uh, and then you just follow it all the way down and affecting the uh, brake pedal and clutch pedal, so the engine is being turned off if the regeneration is um, uh, basically cancelled for any reason um, and that could be because you haven't performed it right and it keeps thinking this is not right uh, and that's the reason it'll actually do that now uh, they are quite all the all the other models pretty much performing um, with the 2.7 engines on um, Audi a f uh, well any any Audi with, with a 2.7 engine I think that the procedure should be similar um, in the central screen you should have a diesel particulate filter um, sign and also right at the top um, you should have uh, the engine light and then I'm looking at this um, glow plug light. Now the fuel like I said it should be enough and then uh, if you go back up it also tells you some of them could be applied I mean some of them you could do with the driving basically you could drive it and then do it um, and then this one you'll have to just have it stationary 
and, and get it done that way. And I think the stationary one would have been easier, uh, to be honest, because that's the way to do it. Um, on the snap-on one, you should be able to perform a similar thing, but the, the screen uh, is slightly different. Um, Delphi system works on window-based, um, and it's easy to work on the window-based, but snap-on has like, it's like an Android tablet. You, all you do is just follow the engine um, automatic recognition, and then go on to either instrument panels, or, or you can go to the engine. I think the instrument one would, should take you into actual DPLV generation. Um, but if you're not sure, you can always Google how to use the... Um, I use the Solus Pro, and Solus Pro is the actual um, um, Solus Edge. Uh, that's the one I use, and that's quite all right, because I get the updates um, every day, pretty much. And if I need to, uh, I'll just phone snap on. Uh, and the Delphi one is quite all right. And now, as you can see, we're near to the end. So that's showing about 0.23, 639 Celsius degrees. And... Um, that should be finishing any second now. So as soon as that's finished, I just want to show you the ending to this um, video so, so you know that the actual regeneration has performed. So we know that it's a successful one. So then if it's a successful one, then we know that it's worked on this vehicle. That means you could do it um, on your car. And, and that's what we're trying to prove here, that it can be done even if the... I mean, this one has 86,000 um, miles. It's not bad for it still for it to regenerate. Like I said, this is my third time I'm doing this. Um, and this glow plug light, ha it has to flash because that's what it says on the actual system um, that the glow plug light has to flash. Now, you can see the grams are coming down rapidly, so we've only got a little bit left on this. I have been doing this for the past 40 minutes. Um, not that I'm going to bore you with a video of 40 minutes. We're going to reduce this video down to about five or six minutes. So you can just watch it and understand what's going on. Um, some of them, some of them, you just need to basically go through the systems. They're depending on what you're using, but I would suggest a Delphi or the Snap-on one. Um, now, also on on this one, I did, like I said, I did the full service and uh, uh, put nice and fresh, nice fresh oil in it. Um, so that will be easy. That will be going easy on the actual um, particulate filter. Now. Once the regeneration is finished, um, also if the regeneration you have any issue, this status here where it says regeneration active, it will say failed. Um, it will also say restart, turn the car off and turn it back on. Um, here you would clear the code, read the code on the top one, clear the code, and then this spanner here, right at the top in this drop down, it should tell you how to do regeneration. And there's also others um, like the pressure sensors on the drop down menu. You can actually reset the pressure sensors um, along with um, other sensors as well. So, if you know, make sure there's no codes in the engine management system because if it does, um, I don't think it'll perform it because it's still picking up the actual code. So, the only time it'll pick up the regeneration again if it's once you start driving or start the car for a while and then it will detect it. So just make sure there's no codes and all the codes are clear via the actual uh, deleting the actual trouble codes. And once you've done that, this one, there it is, 0%. Um, now we've got literally the content of soot uh, measured, it's finished, so there's nothing. So now this should, the RPM should come down and actually stop this regeneration. Uh, so I'm hoping... I would say about a minute or so and that should be it and that should actually stop it um, and all I'm waiting for now is the actual regeneration where it says here regeneration active I want a successful regeneration on this so that should perform it quite nicely we've got no soot left initially we had quite a bit of soot um, and, and, and because of that I had to, I had to do it three times but this is, like I said, Audi A5, 2.7, 2007 um, diesel, um, and just performing regeneration. If it works on this one, it would work on your one, uh, and that's how it is. So we're just waiting for the results to come uh, on this to make sure um, the regeneration is successful. And once it tells you that it's successful, uh, then at least you know that it worked. Um, also, just to make sure that usually there will be a DPF 
uh, regeneration light would come on um, and the DPF filter actually light would come on it's like a sign of a filter um, but that's off at the moment because I turned it um, I reset the codes so all we're doing is the glow plug light and that's what it's performing so I'm just gonna wait to see what happens on, on this one uh, and I'm hoping in the next few seconds hopefully this should be nice and So it says regeneration ended. Press OK to exit. When you've done that, function complete, regeneration is done. And that's it. So now we managed to go onto this. You may have other codes to suit. It's too high, but that's we can now clear that off. And that's it. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel on Dodge Studies now. Regeneration complete on Audi A5 2007 2.7 diesel. Thank you.